to begin the scan. Um, and then once you put your palm here, it reads, reads it's a biometric uh, palm scanner. Um, and, uh, and it recognizes me, Mr. Morris. That's awesome. It's my dad, actually, not me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, then all you have to do is select your grade and start feeling. <laughs> You'll notice the grade select lights up, which is pretty cool. Then we've transitioned into a really rich media experience to provide some entertainment and also some uh, target advertisements and uh, just a richer experience for you while you're feeling. If you want to check out the local weather or maybe the traffic, or even the latest news, you can do so by kind of just clicking, clicking what you want. You might even want to see, like, uh, you might even want to jam a tune and uh, just hang out while you're pumping. Is there, when you're done, there... It emails electronic receipt to you. It gives you a little loyalty standings, again, <laughs> and you walk away. Is this scheduled for release in the U.S. or is it going to be Europe only? <laughs> so this is a concept car. Um, so um, this is the concept car on the Helix. The concept car on the Ovation is over here. Uh, what we're trying to showcase um, is that we have some building blocks of our current technology that will evolve into an experience like this. I don't know if you'll be able to buy this exact thing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure why we'd want to have a explo meter in the middle of the customer experience. Right? <laughs> kind of, we're, we're promoting our ability to innovate here, really more than anything else. Um, but I think. If you look at these building blocks of the technology we have, of the touchscreen, of the media, the cloud services being able to remember your preferences, you can see the journey towards this kind of an end game. Um, and uh, so I figured I'll show you the end game, show you the journey. That's, nice. right. That's really cool. How about in the sun? You know, how can you see this? Mm -hmm.